Hello guys, welcome to Ideal Bibliotheca. To start with, I would like to disclaim that completing polity doesn't mean that you don't turn to it after 30 days. So let's start knowing how to make a timetable. Which could lead us to complete polity in less than a month. See. Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3, Chapter 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. All of these are already completed. So I have excluded these right now. But if you want, you can take these. And after completing these in 2 days of time, you can then start with another of the rest of the syllabus taking 18 days of time. So when in the first day, you are doing chapter 12 and chapter 13 which is parliamentary system and federal system now you need to know what you need to know from this that you just need to know about its features its merits its demerits and the distinction so that would hardly take you um half an hour or an hour but since if you're new to this you can start with how many time how much time you want it and you can continue with that so parliamentary system and federal system you do it then along with that in the day one itself what you do is you do chapter 17 and chapter 18 why because president and vice president firstly i've already covered this in my videos secondly president and vice president would take you one hour or max to max two hours because the election its qualification its impeachment powers and functions are easy the veto power the ordinance power the pardoning power is something that you would need time to think of it to analyze it so you can study 17 and 18 together so in day one you're completing chapter 12 13 17 and 18 so this leaves you with chapter 14 and 15 for day two to head towards the system of government completion and what you do is you do prime minister and central council of ministers along with this on day two so you have already completed eight chapters in three days so system of government is almost completed with your four chapters if you see to the indian polity book i would suggest if you haven't yet opened the book in front of you please do that then we move to day three so on day three, you do chapter 16. With that, you will complete system of government. And chapter 16 is a big chapter, is a huge chapter. So I am not adding anything except for chapter 21. That is cabinet committees. Why? Because this is just about the different types of committees, their features, their functions, its groups and everything like that. So it's an easy portion which can be completed with chapter 16. Then we come to day four. Day four, you can completely keep up for parliament because parliament is a 40 page chapter. And I would suggest that once if you have studied 40 page chapter, I am sure you would not be willing to do any more along with that. So on your day four, you are done with parliament. Then we come to day five. What are we doing? We complete Supreme Court judicial review, judicial activism and public interest litigation because all these four chapters would all together constitute your judiciary. What else is left for judiciary? It is chapter 34 and chapter 35 that is high courts and subordinate courts. So what are you doing? You're doing all of the judiciary at one go on day five. And with this we end our judiciary. Then on day six, I kept a pause because day six was like a sunday for me so whatever sunday that comes in you keep up for your revision you keep up for other things so i don't bring in sunday and you know this now that it's six days for me and not seven days a week and i think that should be for every upsc aspirant so next we move to our day seven i would call which is technically day six but let's forbid that so what are we doing is we complete chapter 23 parliamentary committees chapter 24 parliamentary forums and chapter 25 parliamentary group because all these three chapters are very easy and very uh, quick to cover so you can then uh, look into other chapters so along with this on day seven what we do is 
I went through the special status of Jammu and Kashmir because I really wanted to know what was initially there and what has changed right now because if there's a question over that what has changed right now or what are the improvements or what are the differences you need to know the older version also which is chapter 36 so chapter 36 and 37 I do it on day 7 along with the 23 24 and 25 this gives me one week's edge in this time i have completed system of government and i have completed central government how because central government included president and vice president which we completed on day 1 prime minister central council of ministers we've completed cabinet committees is done parliament is done parliamentary committees is done and then forums group is done and one day that we kept for judiciary that is day 5 we completed the four chapters that is a part of central government so central government is over then we come to day 8 so what do you do on day 8 is you complete chapter 30 that is governor governor is like an introduction to state government so the state part wouldn't take you much time because what you're doing is you're just revising you're just uh, taking out the differences that are there from the central government and then you're just redoing what all is left so now governor is not that big a chapter but it's a 10 12 pages chapter i suppose so with that what you can do is you can jump to upsc and spsc now whenever you do a central body and a state body make sure that you compare it all the time in study because once you do that you complete two chapters at one go so you do upsc and spsc because it's like four four pages so eight pages done so in day eight you complete three chapters and you're over then you come to day 9 what are you doing on day 9 you are completing the chief minister chapter and the state council of ministers it's the same as the prime minister and central council of ministers so what you have to do is you have to read you have to go through what they have been saying and compare accordingly along with that what can we do we can read about the election commission and finance commission because both are small but quick so you need to uh, you know contradict everything and you need to link each subject that which will take greater time which will take lesser time and you compile both of them together in one day of your routine so what are you doing you are completing 31 32 42 and 45 at one go that is your day 9 for you then comes day 10 what are you doing on day 10 you are doing chapter 33 that is state legislature I hadn't studied that portion before so I took time for it because it is 18 pages 20 pages chapter so I think it would need time but since I wanted to give time to this I took chapter 46 and 47 with this because that's like national commission for scheduled caste and national commission for scheduled tribes so this is your day 10 and with day 10 you complete state government because with state government only thing that was left was state legislature and you completed that on day 10 then you come to day 11 what are you doing you're doing chapter 38 that is panchayati raj so now you are entering local government then along with that you're doing chapter 48 which is the linguistic version chapter 49 that is cag chapter 50 that is attorney general and chapter 51 advocate general why am i compiling all of these together But because all of these are four pages two pages three pages chapter which only has the appointment term their duties their functions their role their composition and everything so what you have to do is you just need to go through them because you need to keep revising you cannot expect your mind to just read one day that okay these are appointed this way for this much time and this and you're done you're done for your lifetime so you need to come back to these so what you don't need to come back you give greater time to that right now and not to these so what are you doing you just complete these pages know about it and then proceed now on day 12 what you do is you did panchayati raj on day 11 what you do is you do municipalities on day 12 so that gives you an end towards the local government that is part 5 of the polity so with the local government end what you can do is you can also complete chapters 60 61 62 and 63 all these four chapters together so this is your day 12 again day 13 is a break for me so day 13 you can take a break or you can wait for the sunday and then you can adjust your routine accordingly then on day 14 what you're doing you do chapter 52 which is your uh, niti ayog which is like 12 pages 10 pages chapter so i wanted to give it time then you also do chapter 64 65 and 66 because these are again very small portions which you just need to go through so that if you are asked about it you don't go 
blank. So this was day 14 for you. With day 14, your other constitutional dimensions portion will also be done, which is part 9. Then you come to day 15. Day 15, you are doing political parties. That is chapter 67. And then you jump back to the non-constitutional bodies because that's still left to go. So what you do? National Human Rights Commission and State Human Rights Commission. Again, you just need to compare. So you do that. Then Central Information Commission and State Information Commission. Again, you just need to compare. So you do that. So what are you doing? You are done with four chapters there and chapter 67 here. So day 15 gives you an edge over the non-constitutional bodies. So this is day 15 for you. Then on day 16, what you're doing is you do chapter 68. That is elections. You do voting behavior. You do election laws. And 57 was left for you. Central Vigilance Commission. So you do that. And with this, we would be just left with two chapters to go for our non-constitutional bodies this was day 16 for you we are just left with two days now because i give you two days time to complete the 10 chapters that you have so now for these two days what you do is the chapter 59 that was left that is lokpal you complete that and with this you end your non-constitutional bodies portion and along with that you do anti-defection law and pressure groups on that day and please don't underestimate pressure groups uh, there was a question in 2017 relating to that i also did that so yeah don't do that so yeah that is day 17 and now day 18 is the easiest i guess because now you're just left with chapter 71 that is electoral reforms and again 2017 had electoral reforms too so don't 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 skip these and then 74 75 and 76 very easy very short very sweet and you are done with indian polity all right so this was it for today's video these 20 days wouldn't be easy but definitely worth it i've seen a lot of people saying that no matter how much time it takes but i'll do it nicely don't do that guys because unless you don't know whether you are investing in a correct way or not everything goes waste so decide wisely try out this in your diary understand the strategy and what to do after this i'll discuss in the next video until then stay connected with ideal bibliotheca and thank you for everything